Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you for your love and for your support. I really appreciate each and every one of you that have hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I actually don't take it for granted. Thanks a whole, whole lot. Okay, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you. This is a quick and easy tutorial. And the, the tutorial is a trendy style. So you can see the picture up here. It is handkerchief play or handkerchief peplum. So it, it has it has actually come to stay. You can use them for blouses. You can use them for dresses. You can use them for gowns. So that's what we are going to be learning how to cut today. Two types of handkerchief play or handkerchief peplum. So you can see the picture up there. You can see one is very deep. You see it drops so much. Why the other one is a little bit shallow. So that's what we're going to learn how to cut today. So I have my fabric here that I'm going to be making use of. So this is my fabric. I folded it into, I'm folding into four. So this is folded into four. So we're going to cut, let's cut the deep one first. That's the, the one that drops a lot. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and cut the shallow one. So I'll just go ahead and fold my fabric into four. So when you are cutting this, you fold your fabric into four. I already ha have another video of if you are making this for a gown, how you would join, in case you want it very long, how you would join it. I'm going to drop the link in the description box for you to see. Okay, guys, so if you want to register for our online classes, so you can see my number scrolling through the screen, just send me a message on WhatsApp, and then I'll give you the details of the classes that we have. We have... The corset class for those of you that want to learn how to cut and sew a perfect corset. We have the ready to wear class for those of you that want to go into ready to wear business to cut and sew and carry online. We have the advanced class for people that can sew already and then they want to improve. And then we have the intermediate class for people that are that are starting to sew and then they are upgrading. And then we have the beginners class and then we have the trouser and the jumpsuit class. So these are the classes that we have available. Just send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll send you the details and then for the class of this month okay so now let's just continue so when you are making a handkerchief flare or handkerchief peplum all you are going to do is make sure that all of the four sides are equal so this is just like the secret of cutting this flare so i'm going to come and when you're cutting make sure you put your when you're measuring make sure you put your radius measurement that's the length of your radius for instance if the length of your radius that's the waist. If it's going to be five inches, make sure you include it on the length, so your your handkerchief is not truncated. So for mine, I'm just going to mark like this because you put that into consideration before measuring. So for instance, now if my radius is is three inches like this, I'm going to mark it like this. So I'll make sure that I put that into consideration. I know that everything that I'm marking is fifteen inches. So I'm just going to go ahead like this and mark. So this is my 13. That's literally what I'm trying to say is that add that 3 inches back into your measurement. So that's what I'm trying to say. So this is 13 inches here. I've marked 13 inches here. I'm going to mark 13 inches on the four sides. And then I mark 13 inches here. So you can see all of my four squares. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll use my... I'll use my ruler to connect the four points. So I can cut now. I have all of my points. Okay, so after cutting this, I'm going to add my waist measurements. Now that's the ratio. So like I said, I'm making use of three inches, just like I told you. So I'm going to reduce it to 2.5. So just use your own applicable measurements, please. So this is just like a tutorial. So I'm not really making use of any measurement. So I've marked the waist measurement round, and then I'm going to go ahead. I will cut it out. So after cutting, those, so this is what I have. So you can see my handkerchief. So I hope you can see. So all you are going to do after cutting, if you notice this side. Is a little bit longer and then this side is a little bit short so just hold and then you drop so you can see the drop so i hope you can see it you can see what we have so you can see our drop you see it came out really 
beautiful and well. So the next thing now, we're going to cut the shallow one. So this one is like the deep one, the one that drops a lot. So we'll cut the second one right now. So to cut the shallow one, so we're still going to make use of the same measurement before, so it's not confusing, before we trim it out. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll mark the 13 inches round on the four sides. Okay, so I'll go ahead, I'll cut it out now. Okay, so I'm going to use the same three inches that I used to cut out the waist measurement. Okay, so this is the second one, and then this is the first one, the one that drops a lot. So I just want us to note something now. You know I cut with three inches. So when you are cutting directly on your fabric, you will reduce it by half of an inch. So you notice I used 2.5 at the end of the day, it became three inches. But if you cut it exactly three inches, it's going to be too wide. So if you notice, from this point to this point now, I have 10 inches. So I'm just going to keep, this is the first one, I have 10 inches. And then if you notice the side that dropped a lot, I have my 13 inches. And then on this other side also, I have my 13 inches. And then this side, I have 10 inches also. So I have 10 inches, so you can see it. I have 10 inches. So that's for the regular handkerchief plate that drops a lot. So that's what you will get. But for this, this shallow one, we're going to go ahead now and work on our fabric. So the difference that I'm going to use, that's, you notice the difference between this and this is actually three inches. That's this one, this side dropped with three inches compared to this side. So for this shallow one, it's going to, the difference is going to be one inch. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So what I'm going to do now, if you notice now, this point now, so I have about 10 inches here, 10.5 inches here now. So I'm going to come to this point. Now this is the long side, just like this, this long side. I'm going to mark 11.5 here. So as you see, this is 11.5. I'm going to mark 11.5 here. So I hope you can see it. So I'll mark 11.5 here. I had to readjust my camera so you see it properly. So from this point to this point is 11.5. This point is 10.5. And then I'll check this other side also. This is 10.5. So this side and this side is 10.5. And then this side, I'm going to reduce. That's, I'm going to increase it. That's 11.5. And then I'll come to this other side also. I'll mark my 11.5. So this is the 11.5 here. So what I'm going to do, now I'm going to blend these sides together. So since I have my 11.5 here, so from this point, I'm just going to float this into this point like this. So I just float it into this point. And then from here, for this, I'm just going to come like this. And then I'll float it into this point. So literally, I'm going to reduce this point. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll measure it, make sure before I continue. So I have, so I'm just going to double check my measurement. So here I have my 10.5 here. And then this side is going to, so if you notice, these are the folded edges. So on this I have 11.5, so I'm using 11.5 here. And then on this one also, I'll use 11.5. So what I'm just going to do this, I'm just going to blend this into this point and then blend this into this point. Okay guys, so this is the first one, so we're just going to name this, this is the A, that's the long one, and then this is the B. So I just want you to take a look at the down points. So if you notice, this is the sharp point, this one is 
just shallow. So literally what you are going to do is just try and reduce this part with as much as one inch from this. So that's just like everything that I've been talking about since. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up now for you to see. So when you open it, so you see what we have. So I'm going to adjust the camera so you see it properly. Okay, guys, so you could see the second one. So if you notice, you see it is not very deep. So these are just like the difference. So when you place them out, so you see it is shallow compared to this one. So you see the shape. I think it is better this way. So you can see the shape. So this, you just shape it on the down. Why this one, the four parts are just straight. They are not shaped. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, I would appreciate if you hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Ninja YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I'm just going to try to readjust so you can see them properly. Thank you so much. Okay, so you can see how they are looking. So this is the normal handkerchief, the one that drops. So you can see all of the four sides. So you see this side is the longest side and then these are the short side. And then you see the shaped one. So you can see the way the shape is looking like. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe.